editable spline, the geometry rollout, reverse button. So up here in my top view, I have a circle spline. I'm going to pick on it, right click, and say convert to an editable spline. Now, I'm over here in the editable spline. I pick on the uh, plus button so I can get all three sub object levels. And the reverse button is only at the spline level. So I pick the spline level. And then I come over and I pick on the spline itself. And what I want to do is I want to come over and let me go up all the way up here. And right here I want to say display. I want to show the vertex numbers. So I click that. And I don't know if you can see really well, but here's number one. Here's number two. Here's number three. And here's number four. All right. Now, I'm going to come down, and I'm going to hit the reverse button. Now, when I hit reverse, it's going the other way. Here's one, here's two, here's three, and here's four. So the reverse button actually switches the direction of the selected spline so that the, uh, the vertexes are reversed. So the reverse button only works on splines and it flip-flops the direction of the vertexes. And we can see that when we have our show, our vertex number checkbox uh, in the display area of the selection rollout turned on.